What is up gamers and haters and welcome back to Twisted Big Gaming. I of course am the Twisted Big Gamer and today you guys are joining me for part 3 of the Blacklisted series. We're going to continue on with the second mission here. And it looks to me as though we're going to be chasing down the guy that we just found in the very end of the last episode there. So if you guys have not checked out the first and second episode, please go check those out. The link for those will be in the description below. Definitely worth watching. This whole story overall is just amazing. Tipped off by his terrorist pals. The mole was ready for him. He had heavy duty combat grunts with him. Once again, the Zerk security force got their asses handed to him. Outcome train go boom. We lost him. He slipped away. You remember Specialist Sarah Hall? She's gonna walk you through the next part. Trust her, do exactly what she says. I trained her myself. She's an intelligence expert from back when that actually meant something. Before DNI, you had to read books. In the Academy, Taylor made me read a lot of them. Well, some knowledge is worth earning. Appreciate it. And that takes time. Time is something we don't always have. Okay, New Blood. From this point on, the simulation deviates from actual events. Not that it's gonna feel any less real. Use your imagination. Shouldn't be too hard. Alright, so I'm gonna switch from the Nano Swarm to the Adaptive Immolation because I happen to know there is an ass load of robots in this one. And oh my god, they are not nice at all. Oh man, I missed the first one here. I'm gonna try to take out this one here and get him out of my fucking way. I don't really know if the Thermite does anything against him, but we're gonna try. Obviously it doesn't, so we're gonna use the Sniper Rifle here. And the Sniper Rifle is actually really nice because it's pretty much like a one-shot, one-kill against him. It's just really, in this mission, for me personally, it's a damn dragon fires you really gotta watch out for. Man, there are just so many freaking dragon fires. Oh my god. So it looks like our guy went this way here. We're gonna try to keep up with him. Switch to my elk car here. Drop down. And blow up these bots that are in my fucking way. Nice job, new blood. only be controlling them if he's got a DNI too. So obviously this guy is, I don't know if he's one of us necessarily, but he's got that same freaking chip in his head, so that really can't end well. This dude seems like he's out to start a shitload of trouble, and so for him to have control over the robots and powers like that, oh my god, it's just nuts. I'm gonna try to make it through this mission without killing anyone. <laughs> I usually can't seem to do that very well, <laughs> but we're gonna t attempt to this time. Let's see, take out that last fucking dragon fire, man. Come on, come down. I know if I don't, I'm gonna get shot the shit. But if I don't hurry, I'm also gonna lose this dude. All right, let's keep going here. Come on, get them all, get them all, get them all, get them all. Yeah, there we go. That helps. I'm starting to like you. Good. I don't know if I like you or not, but at least you like me. That works. Oh man, them fucking dragon fires! Get out of my way. There we go. That works. See if we can catch up to him. Oh shit, there's some robots. Don't lose him now, newbie. Get them out of my way so they don't kill me. Alright, let's see where he went here. Nice to see you ate a quitter. Skip over that robot and just try to keep up with this dude. God he Round runs him, fucking fast. We almost got him here. Now yeah, there we go. Now we got him. Down. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, it's a hell of a fall. Oh, my God. And time freezes yet again. Thank God for that, because that almost hit me. I reckon our suspect has about 15 seconds left before he shakes hands with the Grim Reaper. You can't let that happen. Not before you get the information we need. I don't think he's in any condition to talk. He doesn't have to. He has a DNI. Buried beneath layers of security protocols, the subject's DNI records cam footage of the user's past experiences. In extreme circumstances, it is possible to extract that information by force. You'll be able to push deep into the subject's memories, their thoughts, even their subconscious. You could learn everything we need to know about the terrorist plans. I'm sensing a butt coming up somewhere. You should know. 
Not only will this procedure be deeply traumatic for the subject, but the associated subconscious interference will leave him brain dead. Dead. Believe me. He's a fucking terrorist, who cares? He's a dead man anyway. Besides, he's a fucking terrorist. See? <laughs> At least my character agrees. A few minutes ago, you knew nothing. What do you know now? I know where they are. They're using the old train tunnel to plan their attack. Hmm. But you just learned that your DNI took the ZSF weeks to uncover. What do you think I'm gonna say next? Outcome. Train go boom. It's good to know you can make- God damn, we can just never stop this train from blowing the hell up. I think it's time we moved on. <gasps> yeah, this looks promising. Fire! That's our backup! ZSF finally tracked down the terrorists to this location. For their sake, they really wish they had. You're still here, huh? Pity. I bet D has a hundred that you'd be dead by now. Funny man, Specialist Peter Moretti. Fuck you. you understand how much of a badass motherfucker you are now. But remember, we still don't have the last piece of the puzzle. How in the hell they got the explosives on board the train? So we're clear? When this is over, you owe me a hundred. Back to business. Fuck your hundred. As Why you do know, I owe you a hundred? The being Black Ops is having access to the latest in experimental weaponry. Firearms may be your go-to choice for a weapon in a fight. But with DNI, your mind truly is your greatest weapon. Let's do some damage. Yeah, let's do it. All right, we're going to go ahead and start by taking out a lot of these damn robots with the freaking adaptive emulation here. And then we'll just snipe the shit out of the rest of them. Because that works for me. <laughs> yeah, I think I just took care of almost all of them over here, didn't I? Oh, and here comes more. It just can never end it. Just a few robots, man. It's got to be a bunch. Oh, shit. Alright, there should be a few more coming here. Get your heads down. Oh, I missed. There we go. Oh, man. So many damn robots. We'll make a oh, man. Yet. Come on. Die. Let's see if I can blow all of them up with that one back there. I don't think it did the trick. No, but that's all right. I can take him out with a sniper rifle. Oh, wow. There we go. Oh, shit. I got one floating up but towards me here. There we go. He's down. Let's push forward here. Just like your other core systems. It's actually pretty clear right now. Oh, as soon as I say that to... Oh, man. That's how you get shit done. That's exactly how I get shit done. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, so since there's like a bunch of human enemies here, we're going to go ahead and switch to the Nano Swarm and just send them out after them. Let them take care of my dirty work here. What do we got that's coming up at us here? Oh man, please let it be safe. Oh shit, no it's not. Throw out some Thermite, see if I can burn a couple of them. Doesn't look like I did very good at that. But we'll go ahead and send out the nanobots because we know they can do the job. Right, guys? At least they better. Alright. Let's see. How many more we got left? A bunch. It's just so chaotic. I love it, though. These missions are so challenging. And it's that's absolutely what it takes to keep my interest. If it's something I can walk through in just a matter of moments, it's not worth it. I want to spend some time fighting. And I want to spend some time actually trying to, you know get through this without it just being so damn easy oh shit more robots and I just sent out my swarm I should have sent out or I should have done the adaptive emulation instead oh well that's alright we'll just snipe them oh yeah there we go 
All right, we got one left, I think, and we should be clear to go forward. There we go. Oh, oh, damn, come on. There we go, he's gone. I don't really want to change my loadout. Um, for those of you that have never played this, um, the nice part too is, is you can change your loadout throughout the whole mission, which is awesome. Just because it's like in this point, it's like I'm using the sniper rifle and doing pretty decent with it, but you know, for, that probably would have went way better with a shotgun. I'm gonna switch the pistol grenade. here and oh man, I'm gonna get overloaded really, really fast. So I'm gonna try to watch my ass here. Throw some thermite. Oh shit, I hit myself with that. Alright, I'm going to send out the swarm just to take care of these guys, get them out of my way. Resupply real fast, so I got the thermite back here. Boy, it is so hard Not to freaking see. Burn me with some thermite, bitch. Yeah, the thermite has to be one of my favorite lethals in this, too. Just, <laughs> I don't know, I think it just looks cool the way it all happens. It's not even necessarily that it's like the most powerful or anything like that, but... Love the way it works. Oh wow. They're just coming at me. Oh fuck. You know what? I'm gonna hit you with some thermite too. Oh, was it I was gonna say did his his buddy just walked right into that, didn't he? Oh no, they got me. Fuck. Alright, we'll try this again. This is definitely a challenge. I'm not gonna say it's like hard, but it's definitely not easy either. So I expected to die at least once. Pick him off from back here. Get you out of my fucking way. Oh, robot stepped in the way. It's alright, I got you both anyway, didn't I? Alright, I'm gonna release the swarm just to take care of any human enemies that are up there. Took out the robots pretty damn easy this time. I don't want anybody sneaking around the corner on me here. Let's push forward here. We should be safe too. Let's move! Yeah, there we go. Alright. Got a robot, there are a few robots up here. Holy shit. I'm gonna switch back to the adaptive emulation and blow these guys to shit. Got at least a few of them anyway. Oh, wow. Holy crap, so many fucking robots. Not bad, new blood. Yeah, tell that to me when we're done. Oh, holy shit, come on. Wow. This is definitely, definitely challenging. I absolutely love it. I see you coming around that corner. You're not hiding from me. Oh, shit. Pick them out with the pistol there. That works better than the sniper rifle that close, anyway. We'll make a soldier out of you yet. Got a Fuck, man, they are shooting me from everywhere. Holy crap. We got another robot up there. And got you running at me here. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. They are shooting me from everywhere. Oh, so it looks like we're about to find our first collectible together, guys. So when you guys get into this, underneath everything, at the very back of it, there is a collectible item. Just keep that in mind. Oh, come on, get up there. Oh, man. That's the only downfall of the boost jump, is it really kind of doesn't last very long, so if you get stuck like I just did, it doesn't work out so well. But that probably doesn't happen to most of you guys. <laughs> just me and my bad luck, right? Alright, let's go ahead and restock on some ammo here, because I think it's going to be a fucking all-out war here in just a few minutes. Oh man, and this is only the second mission, guys. That's what I absolutely love about it. It's it, this is so challenging right off the bat, and it's only the second mission. So crazy. And now we've got some of them AGR things rolling around here. Take out some of these robots so there's not so much pressure on us. Oh wow, holy shit! I wasn't lying, guys, when I said it's going to be an all-out war here in just a moment. It literally is an all-out war. Oh, wow. Come on. Oh, I missed. Alright, take care of that fucking robot that was just shooting at me, hopefully. Oh, 
right. I think there's only... Oh, shit, I forgot about the AGR. Oh, wow. Well. I was going to say, that's okay, though. I have my EMPs to help take that damn thing out for me. I should have only just a few left here to take care of, and we can push forward. I see another AGR out here. Oh, shit. Wow, that thing is not nice. Take it out before it comes back online. There we go. Now we should be able to push forward here, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, so scary, because it's so damn dangerous. Oh, no, where do you think you're going? That's how you get shit done! Alright, I'm going to release a swarm here to take care of the human enemies here, because I see another AGR. Oh, come on. Wow, did that swarm really just not do shit? Did you quit fucking shooting me already? Jesus. Alright, there. Finally, my swarm picks up on the slack here. He was about to throw a grenade. Wow, holy crap, I got lucky. Oh, and the AGR is down. Awesome. Alright, push forward here. This. And it looks like we're down. safe for just a moment. The computer over there should give us an insight into how they got the explosives on board. Go interface. Wow. That's about all I can say for most of this game, is just wow. Alright guys, that's going to do it for part 3 of this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to let me know in the comments below, or click that like button. If you guys want to see more, don't forget to click that subscribe button. I will talk to you guys later with part 4. Peace.